Hey guys and gals, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, we're going to be setting up a uh, communal of uh, nine Mbalforis. You can see them all over here on the left. There's seven in this little container and, well, individual containers within a container. And then we have two right here. And on the other side, we have some cork bark, uh, moss, leaves, and whatnot. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this, but I'm just going to kind of do it as I go. And at my feet, I have some cocoa fiber and peat half and half mixed. So anyways guys, let's do this and uh, you guys will get a look at these once I start putting them inside the enclosure. Just getting some cocoa fiber. I think what I'm going to do is fill it to here and then I'm going to slope it up so there's not a whole lot of height there. Um, and we'll see how that works out. I checked this out pretty pretty well as far as them not being able to get out. The vents are very, very small. Um, and the only thing I'm con not concerned about but is the, where the cords come out here. But on the lid, uh, there's a little slot that slides over to cover it. I'm just going to glue it shut so it doesn't, you know, wiggle when I'm moving the enclosure, you know, off, uh, off the stand. So I'm going to put a lot of this in. I'm going to compress it down. Um, this is probably only going to do them until probably September or so, which is only a couple months. Um, as most of you guys know, Tom Moran has a communal setup of nine. He put them in something a little bit bigger, but uh, my buddy from Tangled and Webs, um, Ryan Mack, uh, that's where I got these from. Uh, he also does uh, acrylic enclosures, which is called Extreme Habitat. He's going to make me a really nice uh, enclosure for them. So, you know, they will have to be rehoused probably within a couple months, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. So the next enclosure will be sort of kind of the forever enclosure, hopefully. So as you can see, I'm just patting this down. Tarantulas don't like to be on loose dirt per se, and this also helps with once they decide to burrow, um, it keeps it more compact and stiff. So I'm going to try to make like a little hill back here, maybe even on the sides. And we'll see what happens. Sorry about my arm guys, but I got a tripod in front of me. It's kind of hard to do this in such a small enclosure from the side. So that's not too much height, you know, as we all know, you don't want your tarantulas falling. Especially the larger ones because they're heavier they can rupture their abdomens but as uh, I do this I'll probably put some wood and whatnot in around here so there's not a whole lot of um, height other than on the front but I think they'll be okay so I'm not sure if you guys can see the angle but I will take it down the camera and show you guys after what it all looks like from a different angle As you can see, we're building up nice and high here. And they don't mind the angle because you, know, you can put a burrow in straight, you know. So they're actually not living on a hill per se. One more should do it. See how that works out. I'm going to need somewhat of a flat area to put a little tiny water dish in there for them. Um, I do give even my slings water. Just don't make it too deep. They're not going to drown, but just to be on the safe side, just don't make it a swimming pool per se. I think that's all right. So that's actually even pretty much covering up the vents on the bottom and the front here. Which is okay because it's fully open on the top now this is a little bit damp uh, but that's fine there's slings and it is summertime it will dry out in no time and as we most most of us know embalfories are an arid species but the slings are okay to keep a little bit moist as I do with all my little slings 
All right, so that's pretty packed down, guys. So what we're gonna do now is figure out this cork bark. So, you know, we can dig in like so. Just poke a little hole in here. That's like a little starter burrow. We can even take a little bit more substrate, cover half that up so it feels secure is what I'm going to do over in this corner so now there's a starter burrow under there and you know a little place to hide if they don't want to dig but which they probably will we can even take a little plastic plant Poke it in there. I was not wanting to go in. A little starter hole there. Sorry about my arms, guys. There we go. So, just as a little decoration, they will web all this up as they get going. This one here, sort of kind of do the same thing. On that side, a little bit of substrate. You know, pack it down, pat it down. So you know they can go in here. Also, they can go in here. Just pat that down a little bit. You can all hang out in there. And they should be good. I'm gonna put another because I like to be symmetrical for some odd reason. I'm not OCD or anything, but looks kind of okay. Also, I don't think I'm gonna use all this cork. It's quite a bit for a little enclosure. I'll put another one. Oh, you know what? I could even do this so they can get up under there. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna put a little bit of substrate along the back. I probably should glue it, but they're so tiny. This here is gonna hold it. So as you see, I'm messing up my plant over here, but that's okay. So now we're taking away a lot of the height on the enclosure. Um, you know, they uh, they'll be fine. That's not a big a big drop the only part is is the front but they'll end up taking refuge to these little hides so that is that you can just take my little brush brush off some of this you know they're gonna do what they want to do with this as far as the webbing and everything so this is just for initial you know looking good at the beginning because as with LTs they they like to re redecorate so I'm good with that guys and I'm just gonna I just have a little tiny um, just a cap off of one of my water dishes um, I was going to use a bottle cap but unfortunately I don't have one right now so I will just set this in the corner and you know just put a few droplets of water in there and that's good so that's it for that I think now we're gonna put this little guy in here just you know every little bit adds to the enclosure and everybody has different styles of doing what they want to do but that's it guys I'm gonna pause it for a minute clean up here and then we're going to uh, put the m in the in their new enclosure all right guys so this is a little bit better view for you guys for putting the little guys in here little guys and gals can't find my small small tweezers so I'm gonna try go from underneath here so you guys can see a little bit better there he is he or she now I'm hoping to get them onto here and hopefully they they bolt down there because you know trying to keep your eyes on nine of these little guys 
and that's exactly what he did it is not much fun that's one Hope you guys can see him in there, him or her. Even the little ones, this one looks like he's in primo. Go on buddy, there he goes right there. Uh, these have all been fed prior to going on here or in here. Um, you know. Just to be on the safe side, you don't want any hungry teas when you're first introducing them to a communal. And I will offer them food once they're in here. They probably won't go for it, but it's there just in case. This one is actually on its web still. There you go, you see him or her right there. Hopefully that you guys can see this, they're so tiny. And you're going the wrong way. I want you going down. Come on. There it goes. And I did add a couple other things to the enclosure, guys. As you can see, a couple more leaves and some of that dry moss that I like so much. So that's three. This is going to be four. Don't see them, so I'm gonna leave that there just in case it is in there somewhere. Oh, there it is. This one is down. There it is. Sorry, guys, as I said, it's kind of hard to do this. Oh, there he goes. You go the other way. There, he's in the little hidey hole, which is perfect. But uh, I'll keep you guys updated on these guys as they're growing. That way you can see how well they're doing. Um, this one is on. There he goes, underneath. That's five. Get this out of here, that's old. This would be six. And he is on there as well. Come on, buddy, get. Oh, he dropped, but he's okay. I'm going to scare him up underneath. There he goes. As you can see, it takes those little hides. It's dark. All tarantulas like the dark. So it's six. This is going to be seven. I drop my brush. little guy. Come on, he's going in circles. There he goes, he's down in there. Love these little guys. I've been wanting these for a while, but unfortunately, where I'm at, I've only seen uh, maybe two or three available. Um, and I obviously want to do something a little bit bigger than two or three as far as the communal. And I also forgot, guys, I have my air conditioning on. I hope you can hear me. I turned it off, but then I forgot to turn it back on again. But I'm pretty close to the camera. So if you hear a little bit of rattling, look at this guy just popped out in the background. It is an air conditioning unit because it does get very hot here. And please don't like it too hot. So one more, guys and gals 
So that's eight. And this will be number nine. There he goes. Into the little leaf. Where'd you go, buddy? They're so tiny. Oh, there he is in the corner over here. I'm just going to shoot him this way. But you turn your back for one second, and they're up and out, and they're so small. I'm happy with that. Anyways, guys, I'll pause you, and we'll get a better angle here. All right, so this is it. Uh, we're done. This is a uh, front view. Uh, you can see all the little places where they can go and hide. There's one, you can see its abdomen uh, right there. The other ones are in there somewhere, very tiny. But uh, apparently these guys do really well in communal and um, Tom was saying that they actually do better uh, communally than separately. So this is going to be fun to watch and uh, you know document how they do throughout. But anyways guys, thanks for watching. I did put a little bit of water in here just so you guys know. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, a little bit long but it's you know a whole setup and you know getting nine of the little guys and gals in there. So anyways guys, have a great day and a great night wherever you're at. Take care. Bye-bye.